Hello, 108 class. Mr. McHugh back here with you on page page four. Uh, of course, we're working our way through section 9.3. And on the last uh, video on page three, we talked about the substitution method here. Uh, and what I want to try to help you here is they're going to give you equations that look like they're quadratic in form, meaning they've got the frame to it, okay? And what we're going to do, the substitution here, is it, it, it takes students a little while to figure this out, but the idea here is look at this middle term in this example 5a, and think about, I say the word mode, I meant mold. You're going to shape this quadratic equation, equation, excuse me, you're going to use the letter U for substitution. And the key to doing these problems is look at the middle term and not the coefficient, but what is ever here in this middle term and let that be what you assign to the U. It's the temporary substitution variable. Okay? And then once you do that, <clears throat> you're going to say, well, what's X to the fourth going to be? Well, X to the fourth would be what? X squared quantity squared. Okay, so now you're going to use the u. Then I'll stick with the same variable that the, that the book uses here. And um, and the reason you're going to do this, let me back up here. It's x to the fourth. We don't have any techniques for solving a, an equation that's got uh, the <clears throat> the exponent, the highest exponent to the fourth. So you want to see a trinomial. You want to recognize it's a little bit of what the heck is lo you're looking at. When you get that little bit of weirdness in your in your mind, then go substitution method. Look at that middle term and use the u variable. Okay, so if you let assign u equals x to the two, I say you um, you substitute that in, and and so you're going to take x squared. Let it be assigned u, and now you're going to come in here. And here's the dirty work I was showing up here, but now here's where it is x to the fourth can be can be rewritten as x squared quantity squared minus 13 x squared look at the parentheses I'm setting this up this is going to be the u and there's the substitution right there u is equal to x squared and so uh, u squared would be right here now once you've used the letter u and you look at it you go oh, quadratic no big deal go ahead and do your reverse foil do uh, first adder, enter last, unlock the safe, double check everything. So you guys have done that. Make sure you know the adder and the enter add up to negative 13. You've done it. I'm picking negative 4, negative 9. Add them up equals negative 13. Now solve for u. You got the zero factor property for the umpteenth time. Set the parentheses equal to zero. Solve for u. And here's what you got. Now you're like, that's not so bad. But once you substitute it in, now you have to substitute out, or I say back in. It's a double substitution. What I like to do is when you write your answer here, u equals 4 squared. Come down, next line, instead of saying u, write what it's equal to. x squared equals 4. Okay, that's a, that's a big moment here. Now you have to truly find, ultimately, what is the value of x that makes it work. So once you have the the substitution variable u solved for, you leave it there, substitute back in x squared for u, and now solve for x. So take the square root on both sides, and you get x equals plus or minus 2, and you get x squared equals 9. Take the square root on both sides. Oops, sorry, I'm moving that a little bit too much. And you get x equals plus or minus 3. And it turns out that all four of these solutions work. Now, this is a little bit of a pain. You technically are supposed to take all these values, substitute them back into the equation up here, and make sure they're valid. Okay? Um, that's usually not too bad. Again, I, you heard the drill. If you got my math lab, you could do that. But you might want to go through and mentally check those out so that you know that each one of those work out. Okay, so that's the concept of the substitution method. Let me see if I can try this again here. Um, equation B. When I do this on the board, by the way, let me see if I can work down here a little bit. I, I see 4x squared plus x plus equals 5x to the third, and I like to move everything over to the left-hand side so it looks quadratic in form. So you might you might like this step. So I'm going to move sub, uh, move move 5x cubed over to the left side so it's a minus 5x cubed plus 1 equals 0 and now that helps me see that in my notes u you look at that middle term 
everything but the coefficient so u has to be equal to x to the third okay and once you've done that and I've done the work up here it's just a little backwards you could go like this you now are going to have x to the third squared minus 5 x to the third look at the parentheses that's just overkill to tell you that's where the u is going to go in so now your next step is 4 u squared don't forget that squared right there minus 5 u plus 1 equals 0 okay and that's where I'm at the way I went you can go either way it's up to you I just kind of I, I show it this way on the board here I think it's a little little I don't know more systematic I guess um, it ha definitely helps you when you see that middle term what the u what the u should be okay now you here you go you got this 4u squared minus 5u plus 1 you know the drill use reverse foil factor them out I'm, I'm gonna work my way through here set the parentheses equal to 0 most of you guys are okay with this solve for u u equals 1 fourth and u equals 1 okay now now here's the thing don't get uh, antsy and start putting these answers into my math lab what's gonna happen to you uh, you're gonna get the big red X what do you have to do substitute back in u to the third has to be substituted in now I just like that direct here's u substitute it back in and now solve for X now how do you do this one Ooh, you gotta be careful what do you got something raised to the third something cubed you gotta do what take the cube root don't forget the three the index number three and you have X equals look at sorry you look at the dirty work here um, cube root of one-fourth could be cube root of one divided by the cube root of four and now look at the details you gotta multiply that remember that rationalizing by uh, the cube root of two because four times two is eight cube root of eight is two that's where that's where that came from and you've got the cube root of two on the top okay so there's your answer over here this one's easiest comes out to be one no big deal and um, I can't uh, boy I can't I circled only X equals one sorry um, do we know um, okay I got caught here a little bit I'm not sure if this answer works or not okay class I'm not gonna waste any more of your time uh, I apologize I think this is just the right answer on that okay uh, I was trying to find an example in the book I don't know if it's exactly the one that's in the book but you got the technique down there that's the key thing and then you can go ahead and substitute that back in and check it out okay Mr. McKee I'm gonna sign off here we have finished page four <sighs> one more to go here cruising through nine three you know the drill a couple more examples I'm looking at here in the substitution technique different forms to it of what u is equal to the expression and once you get that idea look at that middle term these problems aren't too bad because then you have got your strategy down okay Mr. McHugh gonna sign off here I don't know I'll go over here today something different and I'll see you for page five okay bye bye